Ashim Smith here for Injitsu.com with Curtis, Curtis Melender. It's very exciting to see you. We, you and I go way back. I've seen you fight on the local level, actually here at the Burbank Marriott. I just want to catch up with you. You've been everywhere, Bellator, UFC, PFL. What is on the horizon for you? Um, right now, getting ready to most likely box in February. All right, just, just one time, just one time. And uh, just to get in shape for PFL next year. Okay. That does seem to be the trend. MMA fighters trying out boxing, boxing. Actually, no, I don't see a lot of boxers going over to MMA. Why is that? <laughs> they don't want the day. Get, it's not even the takedown part. I think boxers just don't want to get kicked. Yeah. I yeah. think that's the most nerve part. <laughs> they, they need their legs. Okay. Oh, and I also hear that you started a new promotion. Yes, I am the head matchmaker for True Promotions. It's an amateur show. We just had our last, our first show last Sunday. Went great. Uh, Twelve fights. No hiccups. Next show, January 22nd. So, amateur fighters locally, hit me up, Curtis Curtis 170 on Instagram. Send me the profiles, and I get you matched. That's awesome. So right now you're in between fights. Uh, what what's your game plan? I know you know PFL, but do you have anyone in mind? What's the game plan moving forward? Uh, first thing first, just focusing on our show, our next show, January 22nd. But uh, next season PFL, man, I just. I gotta redeem myself. Yeah. Uh, two tough fights, but definitely two tough fights that could have could have gone the other way if I was just focused and you know be the Curtis that's normally out there. I've been talking to some of the fighters tonight. Some of them won, some of them lost. Even the ones who didn't come out victorious, we've been talking about what they can take away. Your last couple of fights, unfortunately, not victorious. What were some of the biggest takeaways that you've been working on? The mindset. I think the mindset is big for, for me as uh, um, for the last two fights. My mind's right and I'm confident and I have the swagger that I normally have. Nobody can beat me. Yeah. Do you work with a mental coach? Do you visualize on your own? What exactly? Because I want to know because I will own up to it. My mental, sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm off, and it's hard to stay on. I usually do it myself, but clearly I need to reach out to somebody. So, uh, you know, the power of prayer is amazing, but Sometimes you need somebody yeah. to pray with you. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, well, I want to ask you a weird question. What is something that the fans might not know about you, fight-wise or just personal-wise? Um, I think one of the most surprising things is uh, I don't like chicken on a bone. <laughs> <laughs> the texture of dark meat chicken drives me crazy, and I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> That is random. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I love it. Um, is, where can we follow you on social media so we can follow your journey? And don't forget to shout out your new promotion. Curtis Curtis 170 on Instagram. Curtis Curtis on Twitter. And uh, go follow True Promotions on Instagram as well. January 22nd, amateur fighters out there, shoot me your links, shoot me your camo links, I'll get you matched up. Thank you so much. For all the fight coverage tonight, go to injitsu.com.